Hey everybody, Todd Stocker here from EXP Realty. I love living in St. Paul and here's another reason why. I wanna take you on a walk down one of my favorite walks that I love to do actually in the middle of the day if I get a break. I just spend uh, a little bit on this walk along the river. So follow me. I absolutely love this walk along the Mississippi River. It's located just south of downtown St. Paul along Shepherd Road and stretches about four miles from Highway 61 on the east along the river to Shepherd and West 7th Street. It's part of a much longer system of walking and bike trails that St. Paul is so famous for. The river curves northeast and you can walk all the way along it and there is just so much to see. There's a park right at the River and Sibley Avenue, which is where I usually start my walks. There's a coffee shop there that I grab coffee and, and walk along the river with, you know. Uh, many yearly gatherings actually happen in this park all year long. Make sure you take in the artwork along the, wa the walkway as well. Heading west is probably my favorite part. There's so much history along this walk, and some of the original mill buildings are still intact. I'll share my favorite one at the end of our short tour. What I like about this walk is they made way for both a bike path and a walking path, so it's really safe to just stroll along and take in the views. You'll see many people biking and rollerblading, skateboarding even, uh, but also many people walking their dogs as it's very pet friendly. There are many luxury condos and apartments dotting the path. And if you're interested in living here, send me a note. And as a realtor, I'll see if I can help you out and we can connect and I can find you a place. As you walk, you'll pass under some majestic bridges. This one is the Smith Avenue Bridge, which connects the lower end of downtown St. Paul to the northern part of the Baker Annapolis neighborhood in West St. Paul. All along the walk, you'll be amazed at the views. There are those condos again, just absolutely gorgeous. If you get a bit winded, there are places to sit and relax and enjoy the amazing views. Make sure you keep an eye out for bald-headed eagles as they dart in and out of the trees looking for their next meal. And one of my favorite spots is the old St. Paul Municipal Elevator and Sack House. Most of this area used to be used for grain production and distribution along the river and along the railroad. The main buildings have been removed, but they kept the elevator and the old sack house. Now it stands as a monument to days gone by. However, they recently turned the sack house into a delightful, casual eatery and venue called City House at St. Paul. It's not open during the winters, at least not that I know of, but during the warmer season you can grab a sandwich and sit on the patio overlooking the river, again with those amazing views of Harriet Island right across the way. Well, there you have it. If you want to find out more about the living in St. Paul, look at some of the other videos. Make sure you subscribe because I'm trying to get a couple of videos uh, a month out about this wonderful area that I live in and that you could live in too. If you're looking to do anything different uh, real estate wise, maybe you're moving from out of state like recent clients did into the St. Paul area, I'm your guy. Uh, just leave a comment below and uh, or connect with me at Todd Stalker dot exprealty.com. Mm -hmm.